But you know Nintendo always likes to start off with a bang. They always do that. They always start off with a boom, boom. Yo ho, basic out here back again with a brand new video, guys. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a predictions video. Yes, I haven't did these in a very, very long time. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about E3 2021, primarily for Nintendo. E3 is possibly the biggest thing in gaming today, and they're bringing it back. It's been over two years since the last E3. It's been over two years. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be making my predictions video and what I think is gonna go down at E3 2021 for Nintendo. What's gonna be in the Nintendo Direct, everything in this video. So these are my E3 2021 predictions for Nintendo. Let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new and let's get it. All right, first thing. Now, how they're gonna open up the Direct for E3. Now, most likely Nintendo, you know Nintendo always likes to start off with a bang. They always do that. They always start off with a boom, boom. Now, but of all seriousness, they always start off with like a big major announcement. So most likely, I think we're definitely gonna be seeing something related to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in a direct. Now, my prediction for what they'll do, they're most likely gonna be revealing a brand new character. There is still two challenger packs left before I'm pretty sure either DLC ends or they'll make a new challenger pack. I'm not too sure. But there are still two challenger packs left, and they're definitely gonna be announcing a character. Now, the character that I do have in mind is possibly going to be Crash Bandicoot. He's a fan favorite out of everybody that wants him in Smash. Like, literally, everybody wants him in Smash. I'm pretty sure he's going to be the one that's getting revealed in the trailer. So, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I hope it's Crash Bandicoot. And also, one last character, which I think will be the last character being revealed now. I'm not too sure if this is going to happen in the direct or it's going to happen later down the line. Because I don't think Nintendo... I mean, Nintendo in the past has revealed two characters at the same time. So possibly, maybe, I'm not too sure, but prediction for the last character is most likely ha it has to be Sora. Sora has been the fan favorite to be in the game for a very, very, very long time. So I'm thinking that that most likely would be the final fighter being revealed in Smash Brothers. Hopefully it happens. I don't know if it's going to happen either, you know, saying later down the line or it can happen at E3 this year. But Sora will definitely be the last character being revealed. So my two picks is Crash Bandicoot and Sora as the last two fighters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now let's get right into the next point that I gotta make on my predictions. The next thing that I need to predict is some news on Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Now we did get a little teaser relating to the game in 2019 at E3, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we're definitely gonna be getting a lot more news or a lot more in-depth analysis into the game, new mechanics, all that type of stuff. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be getting some gameplay on it during Nintendo Treehouse most likely. So we're definitely gonna be getting a lot more news on this game possible release date most likely we're gonna be getting some information on breath of the wild too as it's definitely been in the air and there's been a lot of questions relating to the game so we're definitely be getting some more insight on the game next thing i want to talk about is definitely a new kirby game and possibly a new donkey kong game a donkey kong game is definitely well overdue we did get a port of tropical freeze onto nintendo switch not too long ago so i definitely think it's it's most likely time for a new donkey kong game it either needs to be the works or it could be a possible release date but there's gonna be something on the lines of that also maybe some new kirby news so possibly either maybe a port i don't think we're gonna get a port uh, that's out of the question i don't think we're gonna get a port possibly or we're probably gonna be getting a new kirby game one of the two but definitely something really in the kirby now next thing mario 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 you know what i'm saying For almost every e3 there's something something related to mario so this is my prediction possibly now i'm pretty sure this might not happen like the likelihood of this happening is probably like 0.1 percent to 99.999 now nah, but besides the jokes i definitely think that something relating to mario is gonna happen now my predictions now i think that mario kart 9 Yes, I know it might be a bit of a stretch, but possibly a new Mario Kart game. We haven't got a new Mario Kart game technically since 2014. Technically, because the last one we did get was Mario Kart 8, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is a deluxe version of Mario Kart 8. So I definitely think that a brand new Mario Kart game is well overdue. So possibly Mario Kart 9. I don't think it's gonna happen, but it's possible, and it definitely will be a shock to many, many people. So possibly new news on Mario Kart, something relating to that, but it's just a stretch. I don't know if it's happening, but it's just what. I Another prediction I have is some small things relating to indie games and small collaboration. So most likely new ports from different games. Nintendo always likes to do this stuff. So either we're going to get some more new indie games or some other small collaborations. So yeah, something on the lines of that. I don't pay too much attention to, you know, anything relating to that. But definitely something around that is definitely going to happen. 
Now the last thing that I do want to say is that there will be information on Splatoon 3. Now Splatoon 3 did get announced on the last Nintendo Direct, so we're definitely getting some new news relating to the game, most likely some new gameplay. Um, I'm pretty sure we did get a release date if I'm not mistaken. Now did we get a release date? I'm not too sure, I, we, I'm probably going to put it on the screen if there was a release date or if it did get confirmed. But yeah, we're definitely getting some new news relating to the game, new features. As we did get a little gameplay, somewhat gameplay trailer, we're going to be getting a lot more news relating to the game, a lot more gameplay on it. Most likely, as I said, Nintendo Treehouse is probably going to be doing a lot of stuff relating to the games, all the new games and the gameplay. So definitely stuff on that, but Splatoon 3 will definitely, most likely might be the main focus of the Nintendo Direct. Most likely, because Nintendo always likes to have the main focus. Like in the past, they have Mario Odyssey smash ultimate as being the main focus for e3 so i think the main focus for e3 this year is definitely going to be splatoon 3 and those are my predictions those that was those are my predictions of why i think it's gonna take place at e3 this year for nintendo nintendo gotta they gotta put they gotta do something they gotta do something so hopefully we get some good 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 stuff relating to e3 so definitely i hope that we get some good good announcements some good good stuff for e3 from nintendo hopefully they deliver i'm praying that they do but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you guys are new let me know guys if what you guys want me to do relating to e3 whether i'll do a reaction like an actual me watching it or i'll do a little results review afterwards so let me know what you guys want me to do hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you guys are new and basically y'all signing off peace out guys later